Here I am back in the studio, Northampton Open Media, Northampton, Massachusetts. As I've said before, the one place in the world, well, definitely in the country, so I know it's in the world, <laughs> where the businessmen, the politician, all talk to the people on the street. The street people talk back and forth with them. <clears throat> The police talk to everybody, everybody talks to everybody. It doesn't matter whether you're gay, straight, to everybody in America, somebody else is alternative. Get over it, America. We need to start teaching our kids on America from day one of preschool. But uh, we'll get back to that later. I'm here today to give you a short reading of the Taylor and Floyd Honesty and Equity Amendment. You can find it on my videos uh, to get it in writing. <clears throat> It'll be coming to you off of uh, Facebook soon. Uh, I've had some problems with them. Uh, they said I'm not legit, but uh, it's getting fixed. I'll have them back on. Uh, by the end of the first week of October. Anyway, we're not going to take it. My theme song since they wrote Tommy way back in the late 60s, early 70s, the rock opera, states the Taylor and Floyd Honesty and Equity Amendment extending the visions of our forefathers. A system cannot end with truth that does not begin with truth. John Adams. Section 1. We the people state that as in 2009, any attempt to insinuate and or perpetrate, perpetuate, just say no to everything is in contempt of the people. Following this up, you'll find when you head to the readings, we also have an Arbery Brooks New Deal 2020, which states specifically how we will make a law, ratify it, first get it on the battle, the signature, then ratify it, because what most people don't know, especially the younger ones, because they stopped teaching civics as, as an elective, is what the politicians of today, today and yesterday decreed, the politicians and courts of tomorrow can take away. That's a no-brainer. We've seen it taken away with Roe versus Wade. Uh, now, uh, to go on, the kicker is what the people put on a ballot and what the people vote in and ratify. Only the people can take away. So when we promote personal pursuits of happiness may not be infringed, belittled, or diminished. That solves a lot of issues in America right there. Preservation of our freedom of choice, not vote to be free to do what we're told. Okay, now to move on to B, we the people make it known and understood that plausible deniability is not acceptable or excusable. Any and all perpetuators of such actions must be formally charged with contempt of the people. The new statute that is a must. Contempt will basically boil down to, of the people, treason against the people. But treason's only federal. And we know there's plenty of people commoners, voters, 
not to even mention the politicians that uh, need this statute to keep them in line. Okay, also, all local, state, federal sentencing statutes must not and cannot be discretionary. The same crime must, must be uh, punished at the same rate with the same sentence. No considerations of choice of worthiness may apply. C. We the people also insist that all elected officials at all levels of government must set up phone internet net <coughs> calling to give opinion sites with, with a minimum of 36 hours advance notice of upcoming voting sessions. We the people hold the elected officials as representatives of the people to vote the people's wishes, not their own wishes for the people. Amen. We also, Part D, we the people insist that elected officials can not and may no longer broker their constituents' votes. As we know, the great backdoor smoke room, uh, I'll scratch your back here even though I don't like it, you scratch one. No, unless they're scratching the people's back, don't be scratching at all. Okay. Section two, we the people require and hold all elected, those who are appointed by the elected and all court judicial offices and officers to the West Point Annapolis Codes of Honor, Duty and Justice. We, the people seek empowerment of the now empowered powerless masses of society with the check and balance system on, all, on and about all issues of credibility and honesty. The people seek a most even playing field within a due process system where thousands are spent to convict while hundreds are spent providing innocence. All local, state, federal sentencing statutes must not and cannot, as I said, be discretionary. This, again, the same crime receives the same sentencing. No considerations of worthiness may apply. Zero. You did it. We don't care what you did before. We don't care if you... You've done great things for the world. Doing one great thing doesn't make doing a wrong thing right. Within an economic system that spends $10 to one ratio against the defendant, just in, justice consists basically of putting a toy poodle, toy poodle with no teeth in a ring with the healthy pit bull. This is not the fairness of court that John Adams strove to create with America's first trial in the 1770s. Okay. All and any entities forementioned in the articles of content must submit to taking a written I call it a self-determination of character form. Okay. In this, we ask you to define yourself. Do you believe in the golden rule? If, if you don't look at it as the golden rule, if you're Christian or Hebrew, you know, love thy neighbor as thyself. 
Whether you're Hindu or not, it's said in many different ways. I call that them the enlightened ideologies. Okay. Now, here's where we make potential kinetic. All must submit, if they want to get paid on a taxpayer's dollar, to the written test. But they also, within the first six months of the year, that they're appointed or elected, take a polygraph publicly, videotaped and made available to the general public. These atmospherics make it so I must today ask all of America to surprise themselves. Everybody's guessing. Who should I believe? Who will really do what they say they want to do? Who can do what they say they want to do? Et cetera, et cetera. Misinformation everywhere, which is a distraction everywhere. Anyone in America these last 18 months who doesn't recognize the fact that we spend as much time or more each day sorting out what's real and what isn't. And we spend so much time there, very few people are coming up with ideas to truly make anything better. Okay. Now, how it works is, along with the drug, and alcohol testing are implemented on the same semi-annual scale, schedule. We charge in the statute, and the priest A and B shall be deemed a misdemeanor, first offense, punishable by a mandatory $1,000 fine. Second offense is punishable by <clears throat> $1,000 and one year imprisonment. Third offense is deemed to be a felony contempt of law of the people. And it's punishable by a mandatory $5,000 and three years in prison. Now all the fines collected from above must be allocated in full to public defender squad of investigation strictly to investigate for people <clears throat> who need the public defenders to investigate. As we say, they pay the guy who stands up in court, but they don't give him any of the tools to go out like OJ's uh, lawyers did and go fine out of what they're saying is accurate. So like I said, the uh, toy poodle with no teeth, the pit bull with all the money, the equivalency is the same. We also suggest a 1% tax on tissue and paper products with the po proceeds exclusively assigned to further finance the public defender squad. Now, let me stop just a moment, put my papers down, look you in the eye, and tell you what I've been up to here. I have spoken with the chief of staff of quite a few people in Washington, people who are elected at the Capitol building, and I am asking everybody in any kind of power position running for any office, or even if you're just a citizen 
who wants to know the equity is really in the person who says they're equitable. Call them out. Challenge them to take that definition of character. Uh, challenge them to answer any six questions you want to ask about what they're promoting and saying. A person who is, does not fear truth isn't afraid of truth. And I state the bottom line this way. They who fear truth have created their own house of glass that now surrounds them. If you know someone like that, challenge them. Call them out. I'm talking to everybody, Democrat, Republican, it doesn't matter, independent. Call them out. Before you vote for anyone, challenge each and every one, no matter what side you're on, to take the written test to stand up in front of a video camera answering polygraph questions. As Trey Gowdy said in Strzok and uh, Comey's hearings, I think he said it to Strzok, Trey Gowdy, Senator from California, you haven't taken your polygraph in two years. Why should any of us here believe a word you say, sir. Well, how long have they been testing, truth testing, that is polygraphing, the people who keep us safe, our government agents in the FBI, CIA, NSA, you name it. If they can truth test them, we the taxpayer who pays their salaries and they're supposed to work for us obviously have constitutionally granted leave to put the same onus on them. I mean, whether you're Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor or Crockett or any other people who are going tooth and nail at each other, it's simple. Let's stop all the sideshows and disinformation and claims of great uh, clairvoyance. Not a one of these people went back to Delphi and reprogrammed the oil, Oracle. Let's get out of this realm of them acting like they did on either side. Call them out. Start doing it today. You're only going to have a month to know what the truth is before you vote on it. Call them out. I started Messages to the World, February 2020. This is my first Cures Instead of Band-Aids me message. The great American discussion has begun. Our collective future is intertwined and engraved. Our children's children face adversities of enormous astronomical proportions. No matter how we look, pray, or socialize, we, the people, are our own answer. We are the fourth wheel of government we must undertake serious consideration about the issues that create a future of equitable honesty with ethically moral growth and upward mobility for our children. I don't have to tell you how many leaders are not doing so. Not when it comes to what they're teaching the young. And they're not, they don't even have to teach it to them. But this is what they pick up on, just like we did when we were young. What the adults who are supposed to know what they're doing are doing. No, people ask, 
who are the brothers and sisters of humanity? I'll state it this way. This is all my ministry partners, and I have many politician friends, Democrat, Republican, I'm independent. To use the word conservative as it's in the dictionary in Webster, along with the way they use the word liberal. I'm a liberal, progressive, but I want this done conservatively. Okay. Uh, so, we're believers that they who can pass a polygraph cannot be convicted by way of less than circumstantially overwhelming evidence. He said, she said, will become irrelevant should either fail. Realize that, as I said before, what the politicians of today grant us, the politicians of tomorrow can take away. And with Roe versus Wade, they have. What the courts grant us, like I say, future courts can take away. What we, the people, mandate and grant to ourselves, only we, the people, can take away. We insist on the creation of uh, an Obamacare American medical blah, blah, blah. And, uh, Massachusetts, Romney cares math health option for all at a rate starting for single people at 6.5, at 8 if you have dependents. And that's of spendable income. We all realize they're not pulling our leg when they say the average American pays 10% of their take home pay, spendable income. We can cut that by one third and up it so anyone working can opt out of this system they have and you wanna make health affordable for everybody, this is how you do it. Okay, at the same time, we lower the cost of health care by these means. We insist on a national minimum wage of $15 an hour. There are places that have a standard of more, but still one third of the country from what I understand, 30 something percent if not 40 is still at the under $10, some of them at seven something, eight something an hour. Uh, $15 an hour, that's 31 to a year, annual. And on top of that, we have created an American workers dividend. That means Two and a half cents on a dollar goes back to the worker, just like managers at McDonald's, whatever, their management thing gets a bonus. Well, it's about time the worker got a bonus. People are making record profits while they're raising prices to record heights. The American worker provides the income the American worker deserves a piece of the pie. This will give it to him. To give you a quick example, if you're the only one on duty at a corner store and they pull in $1,000 on your shift, they're gonna share $25 of that with you per, per thousand. And if it's a multi-crew, then they all share in that same two and a half percent. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to do the math. If you work for Boeing, eBay, these multi-billion dollar companies, just how much 
its permanent stimulus this will put into our economy. Per permanent and per perpetual. When I said the reawakening of the sleeping giant, do the math. You don't have to be an economist to do so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, minimum estimates have documented a worldwide international GMP of 80 plus trillion dollars. 20 to 25 percent of the wor worldly wealth is controlled by U.S. A's 5 percent of the world population. And of that 5 percent, 85% of America owns 85% of that wealth. Hmm. Do we accept enabling more of the wants, needs, and desires of the few or the one to revel in more wealth outweighing the needs, wants, and desires of the masses of many? I ask you, fellow American voters, Because no government entity has leave to take away or eliminate any citizen's right to vote for any reason, except treason itself. All of these things will become plain if you listen to my reading of the Arbery Brooks New Deal 2020. They're all in there. Yeah, okay. Will we also relinquish our needs for planet Earth? Can we collectively point out any, in, any international injustices by others while so many tears cry at our border? We cannot have positive, lasting effects in and on the international community until we can positively affect our own society. These initiatives endeavor to promote cures that enhance, educate, and rehabilitate as a path to self-empowerment. Poor is poor, and working to stay poor is poverty, paycheck poverty. Being homeless for lack of funds our access is still homelessness, looking at an end that can't be seen. Instead of justifying our reasons and differences, we must work to eliminate what has caused these differences. Truth as a given eliminates all need of deception. We, the people, must not differentiate what was not good for the goose will never be good for the gander. Now, now this message to the world, I don't remember when I put it out in the past, but I stated of the people, for the people, by the politicians fighting with the courts, must cease. By the people must remain a potential that never be, that never becomes, that needs to become kinetic with efficacy. What the courts and politicians of yesterday decree, we know from Road versus Way. Wade, we elect politicians, not courts, to legislate how we live. Oversight of our institutions cannot continue to be subject to judicial opinion. As the fourth wheel of government, we can save God's world today for my 11 grandkids, for great-grandkids, and everybody else's. 
I don't like to get political being an independent, especially on Access Public Community TV. But I do have something for you to contemplate. Uh, when it comes to 2025 proposals, my counter is Arbery Brooks New Deal 2020. Uh, we believe in, let me state it this way in uh, four phrases, four or five. Skin in the game. A piece of the pie. Common ground, that's level for everybody. And an atmosphere in American society where no one has leave to believe they're getting raked over the coals. Because with New Deal 2020, no one will. And that is my counter to MAGA. Uh, my brother and my sister, who are both scholars, my brother is the retired professor of political administration out at Colorado in Boulder. And uh, he helped me formulate these uh, two ballot resolutions, Honesty and Equity and New Deal 2020. But uh, as I say, you can have what we're proposing again. Remember these words. Piece of the pie. Uh, no one raked over the coals. Skin in the game. And level ground, common ground. Because those are the pillars that need to be promoted, taught to our kids to practice from day one preschool. One America. Not wait until they're 18, and if they join the service, to start practicing it then. And only if the ones who don't go into the military are never told, you're part of one America, son, my daughter, whatever. So anyway, that said, I counter the 2025 proposal with ABVAC, America Better for All Citizens, period. And I believe America becomes one America once we confirm the golden rule. Our first patriot, Samuel Adams, stated, we must garner all the courage and fortitude that we can muster. Individual Pursuits of happiness may not be, be hindered, impacted, ignored, or diminished. As Peter Cetera voiced 50 years plus ago, people got to come together, not just out of fear. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go from here? It looks like we're either going 2020 style or 2025 style. But before you choose which you want, the people who say they're going to make it happen for you, make sure they prove their definition of character is sound. And make sure they're willing to get in front of a video camera and take a polygraph to prove it to you. Amen. Uh, now, we can eliminate all roots of fear. All of our 190 plus socioeconomic societies can abolish basic needs and worries. We want our soup we must allow others the same for us to breed the golden rule. No other nation on earth has a sub-society of every seat 
in the United, United Nations, America is the only one. I am an independent, progressive, with conservative caution. Every article I contemplated is passed by our, my jury of six uh, that were founding fathers. John Adams, Jefferson, Washington, Ben Franklin, James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and uh, John Jay, uh, the Federalist Papers, asking the questions that we still need to keep answering. And if you answer it and put something in uh, the mix that doesn't have impactful efficacy, then it's a waste of our tax dollars and times and spun our wheels again and got nowhere. History from the original black and white version of Sons of Liberty documents that both John Adams and Thomas Jefferson contemplated at addressing the black slavery issue. Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin concurred with them that the southern states would not give up their industry and lifestyle to join this union if we forced them to change their way of life. All three voiced recognition of the blot that would stain the road to hope of, for a perfect more perfect union. John Adams sent his slave to fight in his stead. He was too old. When his slave returned from the war, he told him, you have earned your freedom right along with the rest of us. So slavery wasn't even abolished, but he saw the black people who fought to make this country and he said, in his heart and mind, they deserve freedom. They didn't just fight for it for the white man, they fought for it for all humans. Okay. Thomas Jefferson defied the law and educated his, well, many of his slaves, not all of them. Benjamin Franklin was known for employing paid servants, maids and servants, not owned. He had them, but he didn't consider them slaves. Who pays a slave? Back in his day, nobody but him. That said, <laughs> I also pass all articles, past enlightened ideologists and prophets. Uh, Here's where the other six of my jury of 12 comes in. And this is the interesting link. And before I state them, uh, it works like this. Once we recognize that all humans are 90% the same, our DNA, then why do we have politics and promote social issues from too many places that only dwell on the 10% difference. Well, guess what? The brothers and sisters of humanity, we believe we should minister the masses for us to start dwelling on the 90%. That is the same. As I said, that said, I call them my uh, enlightened deities in American history from all realms. And the, the second six on the jury that we pass this through is Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Gandhi, the Dalai Lama and the Hindus. 
And if I had an alternate, alternate in that realm, I would say Muhammad descended from the house of Jacob. And of course, Buddha. Buddha was the first historical nonviolent revolutionary somewhere around 640 something BC. Jesus was the second. And out of all of them, at the beginning of written history, they're the only two I know of who promoted change in a peaceful way, nonviolent way. And I don't believe another came until Gandhi. But uh, you can always check that, Google it, see who was first, who was last, who was at all. <laughs> Okay, so we'll get past that. Okay, as John Adams stated, as I said before, what does not begin with truth and honesty rarely ends with truth and honesty. White privilege must become human privilege. Make all other socio-economic privilege for everybody, not just, well, call it what it is, bias and bigotry and prejudice. Once again, if we do not read it, we will not receive it. We must teach our children that prejudices, ethnic inequities, and bigotry must cease to exist. Teaching one America from day one of preschool would be our salvation. We must stop waiting, as I said, until the 18th year, then only if you enter the military, to even mention one America. West Point and Annapolis codes of truth, honesty, and justice must be an oath taken by all taxpayer paid, paid employees. Courts at all level of judiciary must create and maintain uniform codes of justice in all, in sentencing at all levels. We the people reaffirm the right to pass freely and uninfringed upon from neighborhood to neighborhood and state to state. And of course, that also applies to them, anyone who takes someone against their will to someone else, that they didn't get condoned by them, that they wanted to be moved there. Okay. So here it is. The Taylor Floyd Honesty and Equity Equitable Amendment in tandem with the R. Barry Brooks New Deal 2020 derives from FDR's 1944 State of the Union Address. Economically, the destitute become working poor, the poor become middle class, the middle class can see upper middle class, and the affluent remain affluent. Yeah. Like I say, skin in the game, a piece of the pie, and no one gets raked over the coals. All feed on common ground. We need not be granted what we the people can vote for, then ratify for ourselves. Okay, now, in the articles of reformation that are in this whole package, uh, we address the previously unaddressed before the previous unaddressed becomes the catalyst of our doom. So, individual pursuits of happiness, wage disparity, 
electoral reform, weapons of mass destruction, uh, Second Amendment, gun law adjustment, and personally, at this point, just get rid of, put the weapons ban, you know, across America, in our houses and streets, back in. I believe in all of our original amendments, but I don't believe those amendments could picture in, in their darkest moments, people having guns that could shoot a dozen people in less than 10 seconds. This must stop. Equal rights, LBTQ, LGBTQ alternatives. Well, guess what? We say they're alternative, but everybody who has a different way of life or opinion is alternative. America, get over it. Campaign and political uh, definitely uh, needs to have some reformation. Uh, I don't need to solve it beyond that. Just look at what's going on. You tell me what you, you see. The same for health and education and ju judicial and policing. Incarceration and rehabilitation. Uh, po policing policy reforms. Domestic terrorism reforms. Electoral adjustment proposals. Literal dredging of the swamp. Step up to the plate. We the people can slap a grand slam. And as I say, when it comes to a, I've got something written here that uh, I want to reiterate. First, stay mindful of the Senate Oversight Committee of the FBI hearings. Senator Dre, Trey Gowdy boomed. Sir, you have not submitted to your polygraph yearly for what is it, two years now? Why should I or anybody in this room believe a word you say? That was to, I think his name was Strzok, the agent that they can. And like I say, those who fear truth have created their very own house of glass. Yes, it now surrounds them. The proof is more than in the pudding. What the overseers use for tools of investigation to keep us safe are our vehicle for we, the people, to challenge all overseers and wannabe overseers to the same standard. Victims call out the outright liars the disingenuous and all deceivers. When they tell us we are deceived and we are the liars, step up to the plate. All truths will become self-evident when you challenge the opposition to join you. Have a videotape session. Like I say, both parties fill out the self-definition of character and sign it. Allow your opposition to ask you six questions and you get to ask them six. Each side may take 10 direct questions if they choose, but a minimum of six. Questions and answer sessions, all polygraph and videotape. We can achieve LBJ's great grand society. We can save God's world today. What isn't good for the goose will never be good for the gander or anybody else.
Yeah, okay, and I've got one more reminder. This will be my last one for this session. Uh, this is a messages to the world uh, from May 2020. Again, the great American discussion has begun. People for honesty in America, fear, promote. We are our own answer. Yeah. Again, um, our first patriot, the first one to stand up against the British directly, spoke. We must make other colonies hear the need of our Boston voices. We must voice our most dire needs, wants, and desires. We must also speak loudly with every ounce of fortitude we can muster. Uh, he was speaking to, uh, I believe, it, yeah, Ben Franklin. He answered, the king will never grant our demands just because we simply ask. The brothers and sisters of humanity state, we the people need not be granted what we can vote for by ballot incentives and resolutions and then ratify. The people either vote for the honesty and equitable equality amendment and the R. Barry Brooks New Deal 2020, or we will not receive it. All the aforementioned necessities of FDR's 1944 State of the Union address with the New Deal 2020 penny piggyback will be needed to achieve LBJ's great society. It can come to fruition by way of equitable equality in New Deal 2020. Common most level ground with the foundation based on, as I'll say in the ending again, no one raked over the coals. Working poor become middle class. Wealth for the well-off shall be preserved and no individual need be left behind. Uh, before I say the last few words, those of us who have seen reruns of shows like Laverne and Shirley <clears throat> were back in the 60s to early 70s. You could make a minimum wage and two people working at a factory could graduate from high school. And even though it was at minimum wage, they could pool their money together and afford a place to live on their own. Now, for two people, whether they're significant others or just sisters or buddies who want to team up and do that. With the cost of what it is, minimum wage isn't working for a great percentage of America. As I say, if you make 31 two a year before taxes and you get uh, two or three grand a year dividend. You're, the two of you together are making 65 grand or more. Now, with 65 grand, whether you're a significant other or a buddy or a sister to whoever you're going to room with, you can make it. At least you have a platform to move up from that isn't working just to remain working poor without any foreseeable, foreseeable betterment in the, in the future. Okay. Okay, so Fia and Speak Up America ask all accusers on all sides to step forward with any and all document that substantiate or verifies whatever they're trying to pu push as truth to our fellow voters. Agree to define thyself 
by answering a que written questionnaire. Again, self-definition of character form. Agree to take the public polygraph with questions based on your self-definitions. Again, he said, she said, will no longer be thrown against the wall to see what sticks. What did they know? When did they know it? It, should, it will not, once this is instituted, it'll take three months to nine months to discover what they take now, 18 months to two years of runaround. As stated in section four of New Deal 2020, intended deception of the people shall be deemed a punishable crime. Mm. All right. So, in ending, I'd like to state that I will be back here the first week of uh, December. I've been powwowing with the other counties in cities that I'm affiliated with here in the Pioneer Valley. <clears throat> For those of you who are from somewhere else, the Pioneer Valley consists of Greenfield and, and uh, Berkshire County, Northampton being the seat of Hampshire County, which includes Amherst, and Hoyoke Springfield, Chicopee, which is Hamden County. I've already contacted all these other county seats. We're gonna do a fundraiser for the Tuskegee Toddlers Fund, which promotes dry butts, well, provides dry butts, and toddler baby nutrition for all community meals and our survival centers as best we can. These shows will be all on that first 10 days to 12 days of, G of uh, December. I'll make a one week trip up here. Uh, I've re <coughs> retired to North Carolina a few years back, but I come up to keep this network going on Pioneer Valley Access TV on Northampton Open Media, and to support my ministry partners, Cathedral of the Night, which I'm a co-founder of, the Outdoor Church, Church for the Homeless and the Needy, you don't have to be homeless, uh, and my uh, ministry partners, the downtown church is here. And we also have the support of the city, Minion Town Hall, the, the present mayor, he can't say for all of them up and down the line, <laughs> past and moving forward. And what we do is we invite all businesses, which I have 10 business sponsors here in Northampton, uh, give checks to MANA. So if anyone's thinking ahead, to the 1st of December, we'll put on a show for $15 at the door. We'll have multiple entertainment. We will be doing my Speak Up America, which you can find my first three banner uh, ones that I did on YouTube and put in downtown Daniel Evans and right here on, uh, you can Google Northampton Open Media, wherever you are if you see this, and look for downtown Daniel Evans. Uh, it's the vehicle for voting voices. I ask people on the street who don't know what I'm gonna ask them or talk about till I talk about it, what their opinion is of the atmospherics of American society and international society. 
Of course, it's all based on politics, but it's what you think of it, not what Daniel thinks. So bless you all. We'll be back to raise funds here, and I'll be sending this out to the NAACP in Michigan, uh, the NAN, and I've already been on Reverend Tolliver's Tuesday night radio, national radio broadcast. If you don't know, he is the, uh, the uh, CEO. Well, I guess Al Sharpton's the CEO, but he's the operating officer for the National Action Network. And as I say, I've got my friends uh, in the NAACP, especially Terry <clears throat> Pruitt, who uh, runs the show out of Saginaw, Michigan, up there in the Great Lakes. So look for it to be promoted, and I ask you, once you see it, you can go to my web, my email site, downtown Daniel Evans, and everything's there. Everything's there. Downtown Daniel 3 at gmail.com. So stay blessed, good people. I love the world. And my tour will be called Going to the Great Lakes next month. Uh, and I. On the way back, in between, uh, I'm going to hit uh, Atlanta and South Carolina, where Jim Claiborne and Senator Warnick have been two of my biggest allies in the South and promoters of what I'm proposing. Uh, I've also been at the Capitol building uh, offices uh, meeting with a uh, Mr. Raskin, Jamie Raskin, and just to be fair, like I said, I am an independent, so let me pull these out, and I'll just give you a few names, because as you hear it, let's see, Mr. Tony Congressman Gonzalez, uh, Mike Thompson, uh, let's see, uh, where I vote in, in uh, Michigan, uh, Saginaw, Michigan, uh, Miss uh, Representative Slotkin, a uh, buddy who has great ideas, Eric Swalwell, uh, sat down for 45 minutes a few months back with Jim Claiborne, senior legislative assistant. <coughs> uh, Emerald Garrett, uh, Trent K Kelly from the 1st District of Mississippi, Ben Thomas, uh, Chief of Staff for uh, Wacon Castro. Uh, let me see. And, uh, oh, and not to forget the good lady from down uh, in Florida, uh, Miss Wasserman. Schultz. As you can see, uh, they're not all Democrat, they're not all Republican, but they all want betterment of America, which is what we want to see in Washington. Uh, I haven't contacted them yet, but I'm going through D.C. next month, and I will get hold of Mr. Lankford, I believe he's out of Oklahoma. Democrat or Republican, I'm telling you, these people want to better America. And I'm glad to mention Mr. Lankford's name because as, Ra as uh, McCain is gone and Romney's going, the Maverick's gone, the level mind's gone, but if there's anyone being an independent and liberal, I would root for to be the leader of the conservative movement, I hands down. I don't like to get political, but I do recognize people who want to get betterment done. 
for the liberal opposition, he is the most level-minded person to hopefully lead it. So God bless you folks. I hope we can do enough that God chooses to bless us. Being a deacon with the Episcopalian Diocese, I have to question it. How can God bless this? Uh, ask yourself that. No matter how you pray to him or think of him, how can we ask him to bless what's going on for atmospherics today, right now, coming into this next year? But we can bless ourselves by being mindful and aware. Step up to the plate. Vote for what you want for yourselves, your desires, your wants, your aspirations, and those you hope to have for our children. Stay blessed. Be back with you soon.